Governor Won Hee Young, thank you so much for your time today. Jeju Island was designated as a free international city in 2002. What kind of transformation has it gone through? Visa Jeju has introduced visa-free entry and permanent residence policy for investors. Policies as such have helped increase more travelers, investments, and immigration in Jeju. By 2030, Jeju aims to become carbon-free. How is the progress? The most fundamental asset to Jeju is its natural beauty. Therefore, we're aiming to break free from fossil fuels as soon as possible and use only clean energy. Currently, Jeju draws electricity from the mainland. By 2030, we're planning to replace the existing energy with 100% clean energy. We'll produce most of the energy using wind power and energy saving systems. Additionally, all the automobiles on the island will be substituted with electric vehicles. This year, 1,500 units of electric cars will be rolled out across the island. Soon after you were elected as the governor of Jeju, you said you make Jeju Island a test bed for global electric car makers such as Tesla. How is your plan working so far? So far, around 900 units of electric vehicles were supplied here. In a move to increase that number faster, additionally, 1,500 units will be supplied this year. And we're targeting 100,000 units of electric vehicles by 2020, including bus, taxi, and rental cars. And the Jeju government has set up a team to plan and execute proper policies and programs, and we're making good progress towards achieving it. Traditionally, Jeju has been boasting three planters, which is wind, rock, and women. And recently, there's one more added to the list, which is Chinese people. <laughs> so uh, there are many Chinese people flocking into Jeju Island, and I assume that there has been much transformation, much changes have occurred in Jeju Island. Uh, could you share your thought about this? I welcome the fact that many Chinese people love to visit Jeju. But although the number of Chinese visitors has been high, only recently Chinese people have started to come here. And that creates some problems. On looking forward, we're working to preserve Jeju's environment and Jeju's culture so that visitors, not only the Chinese, but also the domestic tourists, will be able to enjoy a high quality and yet refreshing lifestyle uniquely provided in Jeju. Chinese people are visiting Jeju Island not only for sightseeing but also for purchasing properties. And Jeju Island is granting permanent residency status to investors who meet certain requirements. But on one side, there are growing concerns of, over this policy. Can you share your thought about this? Looking back to five years ago, the total amount of investment in Jeju was very small. After permanent residency policy for investors was adopted, we've witnessed a great increase in investment. So the public policy works. However, if it's causing a property bubble or environmental destruction, we're going to address those issues. We're studying into the current system to see how we can make it better and sounder. Last year, a number of development projects involving Chinese developers such as Landing or Greenland were halted. What was the issue back then? Greenland had originally planned to build a high-rise with 56 floors. It faced strong criticism that it would spoil Jeju's landscape. And the resort currently being built by Landing and Genting in Xinhua History Park went through a readjustment process. The number of rooms to be built for customers drastically increased compared to their original plan. We expressed our concern that this would cause a negative impact on the property market and asked them to reduce the number to more realistic levels. Now we went through with all the readjustment processes. Both projects are now back on track. I understand that last month Jeju Island gave a nod to a new casino plan submitted by Landing and Singapore's casino operator, Genting. 
How important is the casino industry to the Jeju Island? Under Korean regulations, the application to operate a casino needs to be submitted only after all the related facilities are set up. We have yet to give a permission to run a casino. The decision will be made in the future. We currently have eight small casinos in Jeju Island. However, their quality levels are not up to par with what people would expect from Jeju. We're aiming to build a casino that can be well monitored and properly taxed. And we do not wish that the casino stands out. We want it to be a functional part of a well-balanced, integrated resort. Jeju is currently enjoying a fast economic growth, but it still accounts only 1% of Korea's GDP. What is the new growth engine for Jeju Island? We're focusing at developing new industries by initiating a new ecological culture. Wind power generation and electric cars will lead to this ecological culture. The other thing is to graft communication technologies, such as the Internet of Things, onto the existing fields of tourism or agriculture. It will transform Jeju into a smart island, spawning new industries in the process. In order for Jeju Island to truly step up as a global city, what needs to be done? And what is your plan to achieve this? Jeju's island nature is outstanding. But in terms of its actual openness to the world and people from outside, it has more to improve. I hope that people who visit Jeju will not feel a cultural barrier or a national barrier, but feel comfortable being there. Jeju people should be more encouraged to build a sense of global citizenship. We also need to work on our systems and programs that can promote openness and a variety within the community. I think there's a lot to be done. Governor Wan, Jeju Island is your hometown. How would you dream for this island to be in the future? The core value of Jeju is nature. We have clean wind, water, and air. And now that it's grown into a global city, it needs to establish excellent infrastructure, such as communications and public transportation. People should feel refreshed when they're here in Jeju, surrounded by this beautiful nature as well as a smart environment. They can even start a second life here. I hope that Jeju will become the place where your soul can be recharged, no matter how long or short you stay here. I hope that Jeju will provide people from all around the world with a healing experience. Thank you for your time today, Governor Wan.